Yo, what's up, you YouTubers? Um, this is two four five Ninja here, um, with another Yugo video. I'm good. I decided to do a deck profile on a deck that um haven't got any word or I haven't heard much about it. Um, I'm gonna do a deck profile on Black Wings. Um, I know I haven't did a video in a while, like in two months. My last video was um on Dark Worlds, um, on my spinoff of it, uh, I think it was more than two months ago, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, it's kind of my twist to it, it didn't do so well for me, but, um, but I'm revising it, I, I just made some changes to the deck anyway, but, um, right now, I'm gonna build this deck on Dueling Network, and I'm gonna see how it works there before I do anything else with it. So, um, here's a deck profile of my Dark World, of my uh, Black Wings. My bad, you folks. All right. Um, like I said, here's my deck. First, I'm gonna start off with one Dark Arm. Um, I have one Gores. I decided to put Trag in there. Um, for the sure fact that taking control of the opponent and exceeding and since exceed came into the play it gives uh, my black wings a lot more options um I have one Zethros I have one Kalut which I think Kalut should be put at two but that's just my opinion um one Gale three Bayus And we have three Blizzards, three Shrekos, three Boras, and three Shiras. And that's it for my monster setup. Um, for my spells, I have Book of Moon, Pot of Average, Black Rollwind, and I'm going ahead and warn you guys ahead of time that this deck have a lot of draw power to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Lord of Darkness. Two cards for Black Feather, three Pot of Dualities, and um, that's the draw power of the deck. Um, basically, it, it it didn't do that bad for me actually. Um, just when I go into Pot of Duality and I have cards for Black Feather in my hand, I can't special summon anyway, so I might as well use it. And then a Lord of Darkness just draws out what I need. It just everything works together when it, when it comes into play. And then I have one foolish to get my Bayou in the graveyard or my Shreko. Either way it goes. Either, if either one's in the graveyard already, then I can just foolish bury for the other one to set up. Um, then for my traps, I have Mirror Force, Black Pack. I'm using trap cards that's normally not in a Blackwing deck, but I just want to try something new. Um, Back Black gives me options to special summon a monster with 2,000 attack points or less. In order to exceed or special summon another black wing, um, just giving you more options. That's how I said. Um, three Icarus attacks, one Delta Crow, one black back, and two trap stunts. Um, like I said, it's just something I want to try out with this deck, um, make it different. Um, for the extra deck. I have one Colossal Fighter, one number 39 Utopia, one Steel Swarm Roach, um, two Armored Wing, two Armor Masters, one uh, Assailant, I believe, Silver One, uh, one Vortex, one Trish, one Thought Ruler, um, one Dark Inn. Uh, Gaia, Stardust, and Black Rose. That's for my extra deck, and for my side, um, this is just random. Um, I can't find the other cards that's in this deck. Um, and this this is not the permanent side deck for it, but uh, it's going to change eventually. But um, I have one Necrophase, two Dark Creators. This, and like I said, it's just card I want to try out with this deck, and something I don't want to like keep consistent. If it works, it works. 
but if it doesn't, I'm not going to try it at all again. Um, two Allied Justice Crataers for the for it. Those are Pesky's um, Light Monsters and Agents, most likely. Um, another Trag. Uh, DD Crows. Get that shit out of the graveyard. Uh, two Kochis. Just for um to get out with Shira and the Shira fact I can sink for eight. Um gives me a lot more options. Uh Swalo Swalo's Nest. And sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong. Um I don't know so much about this card, but like I only use it whenever my monster get targeted by a card effect or something like that, or gets target for attack, I just switch out for another. And um it gives me another dark monster in the graveyard for dark arm. So, like I said, it's just cards that get you thinking and stuff. Um, I don't know so much about uh, Black Return. I actually like this card. Um, no one, uh, I, I don't, I haven't seen anyone use this card in a Blackwing deck, but um, I actually really like it. Because uh, if you think about it, if you ha if your opponent have that Stardust on the field, and um, you know you're going to special summon a Blackwing anyway, so you get this, you bounce that Stardust back, you get 2,500 um, life points gained. So not only your opponent monster is bounced, you also get life points. So I, I said, how I say it, it's not that bad of a card. Um, that's my other Stardust for the deck. Um, Red Dragon Archfiend, I'm not so sure about this card. Um, like I said... This is not going to be like the permanent side deck for this uh, for this deck. Um, and that's my other arm wing. So guys, that's my black wing deck profile. Um, might upload my wind up build. Um, it's not bad at all. Um, it's just something, just new decks I'm trying to try out. But um, and maybe some old ones I might try out later. I'm also coming up with some deck um, ideas as well on Dueling Network, so um, I might upload videos of um, my Dueling Network decks, but uh, yeah, not only check out um, me, but uh, show some support for my team, Team Wildcard, um, probably the only reason why I uploaded this deck profile video on my channel is because I kind of forgot the password and... Yeah, pretty much for the team, and I hope the team forgives me for that. So, um, yeah, like I said, stick around for my next video of the windups, and see you guys later. Get